Hello, everyone. This is Jeff Wickman with Zach's Investment Research. Today, we're going to be discussing comparing funds in an IRA rollover recommendation. In today's call, we'll go over comparing funds to funds within Advisor Tools deep dive analysis, comparing portfolios to portfolios within the Advisor Tools portfolio reports, and we'll give you some background on printing reports within Advisor Tools. Within Advisor Tools, two of the ways that you can run your analysis is either in the deep dive or through the portfolio monitor. If you have a portfolio that's all ETFs or a portfolio that's all mutual funds, it's real easy to use the compare funds feature in the deep dive analysis. Here, you'll be able to quickly compare funds in a custom user-defined peer group Utilize preloaded templates for data points to meet compliance requirements. Export your results to Excel and print for your records. And the compare funds feature does interact with the quote monitor watch list. If you have a mix of ETFs and mutual funds, utilize the portfolio reporting within Advisor Tools Portfolio Monitor. Here you can compare current portfolios to recommended portfolios get portfolio level weighted expenses and risk metrics, and save the reports to PDF for easy archiving and printing for your records. In the deep dive analysis, you'll see here below the name of this example, each of these tabs, these blue tabs here, indicate different areas available within the deep dive. We're gonna concentrate on the compare funds feature. In our portfolio reporting tool, you'll see on the left an example of our sector breakdown comparison report, which down at the bottom here contains the risk analysis and the expenses breakdown for the portfolio, the comparison portfolio, and the difference between the two. Printing is real easy within the system. In the compare funds feature, you simply go to the options button, which is on the right side of the view, you select export to Excel and you save and print from that exported Excel file. In the portfolio reports, you just simply click on the save to PDF button, open up that PDF and save that file, archive it, and then print from that archive file. Let's jump over to the platform. Here I am in the quote monitor. I'm looking at a list of names the client has sent over as an example. First thing I'm gonna notice about this portfolio is I'm gonna to go to the Zacks rank column and see that I've got a couple of four rated funds. What that means, so Zacks mutual fund rank is our proprietary quantitative forward-looking ranking system for mutual funds. We'll go into each category, rank the funds against one another based on our proprietary inputs and give each fund a strong buy through strong sell rating. In this example, we're going to dig into the T. Rowe Price Blue Chip, which currently has a sell rating from Zacks. I can deep dive by clicking on this symbol. I can enter it here into the search box. Once in the deep dive, you'll see I land on the key stats page. I do have expense ratio information for this fund. I have fund performance for the fund, the category, and the rank within it. And then I also have risk analysis breakdown for the three, five, and 10 year time periods. We're gonna click here on the compare funds feature. First thing to know about the compare funds is that you can call up any of your saved lists from this display tickers from. So I could go in here and I could click on this IRA rollover as my watch list that's saved and call that up and be able to come in and do my analysis here on the various different views that are available. I can sort by any column by clicking on the header. Or I can actually pull up a list of peer funds for my analysis. I've already preloaded a couple of funds in my peer group, but I'm going to come in here, show you how to enter in a new fund. You click, you click on the manage fund peer ticker button, and you simply come in and type in an additional peer, click on the add button, click close, and you're off and running. 
We are currently in the overview, but you'll come over here to the selected view and you can see a performance breakdown, risk factors, and, a, and the all important cost structure breakdown for the funds in your analysis. Any of the views that we've gone through in this compare funds feature may be printed from this options drop down. You simply click the options. Notice it's exporting it to Excel, so you'll get that export file here in Excel. Once that opens up, you can save the file with today's date into a folder that you can call up at any time, and then you can also print from Excel. Back to the system. Let's jump over here to my watch list monitor on the ETF side. So again, a portfolio of ETFs. I notice over here in the Zacks rank column, one of those ETFs currently has a strong sell rating from Zacks. To deep dive, again, I can click on that symbol here. Get into the key stats view. Here's the expense ratio breakdown. Here's the fund performance information, risk analysis, et cetera. We're going to jump right here into the compare ETFs. Again, I can display tickers from any of the watch lists that I've preloaded. Here's that watch list again. Or I can go to the bottom of this list and select peer funds. If I want to add any funds to my peer group, I just click this button here. Let's just say we want to throw in the triple Q. Select it from this list of potential options. Click the add button and close it down. And once again, I can sort by any column here. I can change views. I'm in the overview. I can go to performance or classifications or distributions. Each of these individual reports that you run, you can click on the options, export them to Excel. And once again, that report will show up here. We open it up in Excel and save it off with today's date into that archive file also allowing for printing directly from Excel. Back to advisor tools. If we jump over to the portfolio monitor, you'll see here I can take a look at this individual IRA rollover account, current holdings only, and below it I've got my recommended portfolio. I can take the IRA rollover current portfolio and run a report on it by coming here to the right, hitting the reports drop down. We're going to go into the comparison report, and I like the sector breakdown report since it's a mostly equities portfolio. Here's the sector breakdown report. I've got the IRA rollover current in the main portfolio. We want to compare it to our recommended portfolio. I'm going to pull that up from my library. Here's that IRA rollover recommended portfolio. <clears throat> You'll see at the top the individual sector breakdown, the differences between the two portfolios in each sector. I'll get a performance history chart. And then here down below, you'll get those risk analysis breakdowns, the expenses for the portfolio the comparison portfolio, and the differences between the two. Within any of the portfolio reports, you'll have the ability to save it off to PDF with this button right here. Click on Save to PDF. The report will be generated. You can open up that report, and you can save and print from this view. One other report that I like is the risk comparison report here. Again, one of the great reports in that it shows you how the portfolios responded during down periods in the market recently, as well as takes each holding within the portfolio and gives you the risk measures that they contribute to the overall portfolio risk statistics. So hopefully we fully covered the printing options in advisor tools. If you have any questions, please call me. My name again, Jeff Wickman, here at Zaxx.
The Advisor Tools Help Desk information is available here as well. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.